Hello, everyone. I'm Ingrid. I'm Susie. We, we are the English, English ambassadors. ambassadors. Today, we are going to tell you a good news. What is it? The P6 schoolmates have finished their storytelling last Wednesday. The winners of, of them want to share their stories with us. That's great! I love stories very much. Who are the winners? The winners are from 6A. For individual storyteller, she is Apple Lane. And for group storytellers, they are also from 6A. They are Wayne, Alice, Yami, Lucy, and Max. Thank you for all P6 pupils who enjoyed the competition too. 特別要多謝所有六年級嘅參賽同學。Let's invite Apple to tell us her story. Her story is Sleeping Beauty. Apple, please. Sleeping Beauty. Once upon a time, there was a queen who gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. When a weak fairy came to see the new baby, she cast an evil spell on her. When you turn sixteen, you will hurt yourself with a needle and die. The queen was very upset when she heard this. The good fairy changed the magic spell so that the princess would not die but only fell asleep. On the princess's sixteenth birthday. She walk around the castle and find a secret room. Inside, there was a servant making clothes. What are you doing? The princess asked. I'm spinning this wheel to make clothes for clothes. Come and look at this needle. The servant said. The servant took the needle from the measure and gave it to the princess. The princess picked up herself and fell to the floor. Nobody will wake her up. The queen was very worried, and she wanted to find the good fairy. What can I do to wake my daughter up? The queen asked. When a man truly fell in love with her, she will wake up again. The good fairy said. One day, a prince walked through the flowers and find a、uh, and find the queen. The queen asked the prince to see her daughter. When the prince see the princess lying on her bed, she kissed her head. Suddenly, the princess opened her eye. He had broken the magic spell. And everyone live happily ever after. Thank you very much. Now let's invite six A pupils to tell us their stories: the sun and the wind. Six A pupils, please. Hi, everybody. We are from six A. Our story is the sun and the wind. We are the narrator. I'm the sun. I'm the north wind. I'm the man. One day, the north wind and the sun got into a heated discussion. Don't be silly. Of course, I'm much stronger than you. No, you are not. It is I who is stronger than you. This argument continued for some time, and still they could not reach a friendly solution. Prove that you are stronger than me. Easy. You see that man over there? The sun and wind looked towards a man digging and planting seeds in his garden. It's a bit cold. I think I will wear my coat. I see him. I bet I'm so strong. I can force that man to take off his coat. I bet I can too. Okay, you first. The north wind conjured up a forceful gust. 
It is getting really cold. I think I'll pull up my suit. The north wind, seeing the man do up his coat, blew even harder to try to force the coat off. But the man kept his coat on. It's no use. It doesn't work. But if I can't do it, you won't. You just watch. The sun began to shine with gentle warmth that made the man take off his jacket straight away. British weather always changing. The sun began to shine with all its heat until the man took off his coat. Thank you. Wow, their stories are so interesting. P5 pupils will have the storytelling competition in March. We will bring you the winner stories in March too. See.